everybody and welcome to today's video which is our 500 subscriber special Q&A Thank you so much for 500 subscribers I can't believe that I haven't even been on YouTube for one year and I'm already more than halfway now to 1k subscribers that's just like I cannot process that in my head but anyways let's get on to the questions that you guys have asked so the first question is from Hash Brown the Hamster and they say how long have you had hamsters for? So if you didn't know Hermione is my first hamster, she is going to be two on May the 24th so right now it is Saturday so on Wednesday she's going to be two years old. That means I have been owning hamsters for around one year and ten months. Some of you guys sent in a lot of questions which I really appreciate. So the next set of questions is from Hammy Adventures and they ask what is your favourite thing Hermione does? My favourite thing Hermione does is probably as soon as she hears like a noise like or me cleaning her water or her wheel or just changing something in her setup she will instantly come out to investigate. It's really cute when you can just see her little face popping out of the bed and you to come and say hi. The funniest thing Hermione does has to be her rolling around in her sand. The way like she rolls over and the way she sometimes gets stuck trying like to get back up is really funny. What is her favourite treat? Now Hermione doesn't have a specific favourite treat but three treats that she really enjoys has to be these three behind me so we've got popcorn mealworms and these little apple and linty treats they're like little hoops but i do have to break them in half because of their size but she just really enjoys those is she grumpy sometimes i wouldn't say she's ever really grumpy she's definitely a sassy old lady but i don't think there's ever been a time where she's been really grumpy although I did have to take her to the vet to get her nails trimmed once so I did have to wake her up about 4pm. She wasn't very happy about that but neither would I about being woken up at 6am in the morning so that's just to be expected. So the next set of questions are from Everything Hammy and they ask what are your favourite hamster brands? Now my favourite hamster brands Night Angel, although I do not own any of their products, they are such an amazing high quality brand and I would definitely recommend them, especially for hamster owners that live in the US and Canada. What is Hermione's favourite type of spray? So again, she doesn't have an absolute top favourite, but she absolutely loves sorghum, flax and any type of millet. What are three interesting facts about myself? Okay, let's go. Fact number one would be I used to be a majorette. If you don't know what one of those is, it's basically a group of people who perform in competitions. It's like a mixture of dance and gymnastics. So this is what a baton looks like. I actually stopped doing majorettes three years ago. Um, I've been on two different teams in like these seven years I did it um, but I stopped because of Covid and then I never went back because I got Hermione before they even like started back up and I just feel like it's not very practical for me to be rushing around in the evening going to practices when I have lots of homework because I, I used to go when I was in primary school and now I'm in high school so there's a lot more homework and I also have a hamster to look after in the evenings especially so it just won't really work. Number two is that in textiles I'm currently making a hoodie that says hamster servant on the front. I'll put a picture there of what it will hopefully look like once I finish with it. That's just something I'm really excited about. Fact number three is that I was actually planning on getting two dwarf hamsters when I first wanted to get a hamster. But that didn't work out. 
I'm so glad it didn't. So these questions are from Hash Brown the Hamster again. Is your favourite type of hamster and do you plan on getting another hamster? My favourite type of hamster is the hybrid dwarf hamster or the Russian or Campos dwarf hamster. I don't really have a favourite breed of dwarf hamster. I feel like that's a really unpopular opinion. Do you plan on getting another hamster? Now, for the future, I definitely see myself owning more hamsters. I don't know when that will be. So now we're back from questions from Everything Hammy. What are your top three hamster species? So my top three are dwarf hamsters, then Chinese hamsters, and then I would probably say Syrian hamsters. What is your main sub goal? My main sub goal is probably 100k. I know that's not going to happen anytime soon and that's definitely going to take a long time but I do want to do YouTube as possibly a job when I'm older, um, I don't know yet but yeah 100k would just be amazing but it doesn't really matter to me. The fact that 500 people have clicked subscribe on my channel and have stuck around and are still with me is just like amazing. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. So, Hammy Adventures asked, when do you plan on doing another cage reaction video? So, I don't plan on doing another cage reaction video in the near future, maybe in a couple of months, just because that allows enough time for more people to subscribe to my channel and more entries. Bailey Bear 2017 asked, what do you think the minimum cage size should be? I think the minimum size cage for, for all hamsters should be 1,000 square inches. This cage, Hermione's cage, the poor hut, is 1,000 square inches or 1,000 and like 35 square inches if you want to be really precise. It's a great size, um, especially for a hamster like Hermione who's really not very demanding with space but for female Syrian hamsters and other really energetic hamsters I think over 1,000 square inches would be the best way to go. What would you say to a first time rodent owner? I would say you live and learn that sounds like a really old like saying um but it is true like just don't beat yourself up about your past because you can't go back and change it unfortunately. The hamster buddy asked, what do you want to do as your job when you get older? So I would love to be a YouTube creator, not only, not only like a pet YouTuber, but an influencer as well. The burrow asks, what kind of hamster species would you like to get in the future? So I would really like a Chinese hamster. What made you want to start a YouTube channel? I just really wanted to start a YouTube channel to spread more awareness out there and just to share really cute content so that is it for today's q a thank you so much to everyone who sent in their questions and thank you again so much 500 subscribers i'll see you in my next video bye